Hello everyone, my name is Dennis. I'm an application engineer at ST Microelectronics. Today I'm here to talk about the machine learning core available in our new LSM6DSO-X IMU sensor. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that enables computers to learn without being explicitly programmed with predefined rules. Machine learning approach will allow you to generate an algorithm without even write a single line of code. Traditionally, applications are programmed to take particular decisions. These rules, however, as the number of scenarios increases significantly, will demand massive investment to address them accurately. That's where a machine learning approach that can teach themselves to grow and change when exposed to new data will enable the possibility to handle complex situations with efficiency and accuracy. LSM6DSO acts as a machine learning core where decision tree logic executes. A decision tree is a flowchart-like structure in which each internal node represents a test on an attribute. Each branch represents the outcome of a test and each leaf node represents a class label. Up to eight decision tree can be configured to run simultaneously on LSM6DSOX. A machine learning approach is used here to implement an algorithm based on decision tree. In particular, we are talking about a supervised learning approach for classification. First, classes have to be recognized and multiple logs for each class need to be recorded and stored. An offline classifier need to be used in order to implement the decision tree. Machine learning tools such as Weka are able to generate a decision tree configuration that LSM6DSOX can easily execute. The core can be easily represented with three major blocks, sensors data, computational block, and decision tree. Different sensors data can be used by machine learning core, accelerometer, gyroscope, and external sensors such as magnetometer, for instance. Computational block is in charge of filtering data and generate the features needed as input by the decision tree. Not only sensor raw data are available at the core, but configurable filters can be applied in the computational block. User can specify the transfer function of the filter they choose to use. High pass, band pass, and IIR filters could be enabled if needed. Most of the parameters of the filters can also be configured. Machine learning and pattern recognition approach do not operate directly onto raw data, but features need to be extracted and used as input signals of decision tree. Here is a list of features that can be used. Mean, variance, energy, peak-to-peak, -peak, signal crossing, peak detection, minimum, and maximum. The last block of the core is the decision tree itself. Each node receives an input signal and based on a condition, it will be able to decide which path need to be followed. Example of conditions are, for example, the mean of the acceleration or the variance of the gyroscope data. Decision tree outputs are available into eight special registers, called source registers. Interrupts can also be generated and routed to specific pad. Unico GUI, the official tool for STMAM sensor evaluation, will now allow you to implement and generate a full algorithm based on machine learning supervised classification. With few easy steps, you will be driven through the process needed to generate a device tree configuration that will run in no time directly into LSM6DSOX. A machine learning tool such as Weka can be used to create decision tree from leveled data. 
Unico will also help you on this and generate a friendly format for it. Different kinds of machine learning tools, such as MATLAB, TensorFlow, or CAFE, can also be used for this training phase. Here illustrated, you can see the configuration procedure that will generate a register configuration for your LSM6DSO-X. Unico will allow you to set device configurations, such as output data rate and full scale, as well as record and store the logs for your different classes available. You can also input your log files with label data directly. The machine learning tool inside Unico will allow you easily to decide what kind of filtering and features need to be used. It will generate for you an ARFF file that can be imported directly from Weka, for example. The exported decision tree from Weka can be imported again with Unico and register configuration file will be generated as final step. Ready to run your machine learning algorithm inside your IMU sensor. Now I'm gonna show you a real example of glance gesture using Unico and Weka. First of all, we're gonna choose the LSM6DSOX sensor. We're gonna configure the accelerometer full scale and the accelerometer data rate and as we can see on the plot the sensor is streaming the data now we're gonna save the data capture the log for the two conditions needed by the gesture we're gonna choose accelerometer and gyroscope the first log we're gonna take is the static condition the second log we're gonna take is the glance gesture now we're gonna use the machine learning core interface to load the data pattern so we have the static data that we label as static and then we will have the glance gesture data that we're gonna label as glance we now start the configuration of the machine learning core we select the device the ODR we are gonna use accelerometer only the full scale is set to 4G already. The ODR is 26 Hz. We are going to use one decision tree. The window length, we are going to choose 25 samples. We are not going to use any filter here. And we are going to use the mean of accelerometer data on Z axis signed and we are not using any more features here. Now we're gonna save the ARFF file. That is the input file for Weka. The file now has been generated and we just label the two classes with two different values that we're gonna see later. Now we're gonna switch on Weka we need to import the ARFF file and we're gonna choose the J48 device tree classifier the decision tree has been created this one need to be copied into a file and imported back with Unico. Here we're gonna import back the result 
from Weka. And we are not using any meta classifier. We can save now the final configuration as a UCF file. This file can be loaded directly by Unicode. Configuration created. So now we're going to see the result directly into Unicode UI. We can load the configuration file UCF file that we just created. And now the file is loaded. The sensor is still streaming the data and in the data tab we are able to see the result of the decision tree. As you can see the first decision tree is generating zero that is the static condition. And now you can see the output shows one when the glance gesture has been detected with this movement. This shows an easy example that enables infinite possibilities with a machine learning approach. Application notes and more examples are available on our website. Thank you for watching this session. For more information, visit www.st.com. Thank you, have a great day.